Yo, what it do? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Tuan. Today, I'm back with another video. Now, as you can see by the title, today is a little different video than usual. Usually, I go and break down a beat that I did or break down a sample that I made. But on my previous videos, I got a lot of suggestions, people wanting to know how I mix my beats, how I mix some of my sounds, some of my 808s, some of my hats, and the sounds that I use. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, you know, for some of the beginners out there who are watching, I can maybe put you guys onto some sauce and make you skip some steps. So without further ado, let's just get straight to it let's get straight to it that was a little too aggressive so i'm here in fl and this is a beat i uploaded a couple days ago called new fantasies and this is what it sounds like So yeah, so I don't want to deconstruct exactly how I made this sample, but I just have this sound. It's just like a pad sound that I messed around a little bit, added a couple of effects. Uh, I added, yeah, like some cassette EQs and whatnot, and yeah, the same sound. And here I have a little, I don't even know, it's like a pad. And I have this little counter melody. And yeah, nothing too crazy, you know, just, some light and then the drums the drums are pretty smacking you know by the way i will go over two examples of two different beats where i'm using different 808s and different drum sounds okay so what i try and do when i mix my drums first off i use a fruity soft clipper i just throw it in there i don't touch any of these uh settings or anything so the main thing i do is leveling so uh usually when i have a snare or a clap i try and get it to hit at around negative nine some beats it'll be a tiny bit louder some beats it'll be a tiny bit uh quieter and then for the hats i try to get them to hit close to negative 12 as you can see this one is hitting at negative 12 this one is hitting right under negative 12. now how do i get my my 808s to kind of smack like that i take an 808 sound in this case it was from a Southside palace family sample kit of course you want to do cut itself so of course you want to do cut itself right here and some people put the attack down the whole knob up and all of this down it's up to you you know it's up to how you you want to do it doesn't really make that much of a difference sometimes your 808s might sound bad because they're not in key now this has nothing really to do with mixing but get your 808s in key now as you can see i turned the velocity up all the way up just so i can get it really to smack you know it kind of smacks like that so yeah i try and get my 808s to hit at around negative three this will vary from you know beat to beat but yeah in this verse i have a, a clap and a snare coming in to replace this the other rim shot that was uh, previously the same thing here you know close to negative nine and the snare uh maybe just a bit under so yeah, pretty much. And then the melody, I try to get it to be at around negative six. Sometimes it'll be at negative, like in between right here. Uh, but yeah, usually I try to keep it like that. And this is what you get, really. The main thing I want you guys to take away with this is to learn the kind of industry standards and just to get like a basic clean mix just so that it's clean and you can't go wrong with a clean mix and then once you master that clean mix and that industry standard quote unquote the next goal is to kind of break the rules and do something different do something uh where you can be unique and have your own style just learn the rules master the rules and break the rules okay so for b number two i actually use a loop from steven sheffer super super fire loop i love this loop and here as you can see i have a couple more drum sounds than in the previous video so this will be a bit more uh, interesting same thing here oh well i actually didn't turn the thing down so yeah well here it doesn't happen all the time but as you can see the sample was mixed as i was saying before close to negative six 
so I didn't have to take it down or anything. Yeah, the only thing I added here was an EQ to cut some of the low end out and here a frequency I don't think I liked. It was mainly also to take out the bass when my 808 comes in. Now, uh, if we get onto the drums. Okay, so same thing here, soft clipper, I didn't touch anything. Then next I have these uh, snares. So yeah, here I didn't take them down in the channel rack. And same thing here. You see here I got them to hit at negative three just because that's what I was feeling that day. I don't know why. And then the hats. I have two patterns. I took it down a bit here. You can see some of the velocities are changing here. Very, very light. And then you have the main hats here. As you can see are hitting at around negative nine. Uh, now it's the 808 No Kizzy. I actually got a lot of DMs of people asking for the 808 No Kizzy. I wanna drop a drum kit when I hit 1K subs. That's really my goal to hit 1K subs. If you want the 808 No Kizzy, subscribe to the channel. I will drop that. It will be a free drum kit and I will drop all these sounds that I use, including the 808 No Kizzy. I mixed it myself. I think it's a pretty solid mix. Here, same thing I do. I put the velocity all the way up. I take it down, you know, to about here so that you see it hits at around zero. Last time I said close to three, it's like, you know, between three and zero. Then open hat, open hat. I usually have my open hats very quiet. So you see, because it hits at the same time as the 808s hit, so I don't want it to be too, too loud. And then I have this perk. Perk is hitting at negative 12. And then I have this right here. It's an extra snare. It hits at like between negative six and negative nine. You know, it's simple, but it's just the right leveling will really make a difference. You know, and when this beat comes in, this shit is dumb hard. Young But yeah, that's pretty much it really, you know, it's pretty simple, not that difficult, just these little tips and tricks that I've learned over the past couple months that have really taken my mixes to the next level. Now, if you've made it this far to the video, congrats, because right here, I'm putting a little recap of like all the numbers and stuff, the, the numbers you kind of want to hit for each sound. Also, one thing uh, you don't want to do as a producer is over mix it and master it and put all these compressors and all that. When your beat gets placed, the, the beat will get remixed anyways by a professional engineer. The goal is not to have it over mixed and take away the engineer's job that he's gonna do better than you anyways. So yeah, definitely do not wanna over mix your beats. Just use the right sounds, the right leveling, and you will get some hard mixes. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys could learn one or two things from it. If you did enjoy the video, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see from me next, what kind of tutorial. And yeah, any other questions, make sure to DM me on Instagram. Yeah, pretty much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.